to her Bronx apartment during a power outage. She used an oxygen tank, which ran out just as she climbed to the 19th floor. A transformer fire had plunged that neighborhood into darkness for nearly a day. PIX 11's Jennifer Bizram has more from co-ops this weekend. Erica says it's going to be pretty dreary all day tomorrow, right, Erica? Yeah, especially from lunchtime onward. It is just going to be another round of what we got this morning, which I think had a lot of us uh, staying in our uh, houses and apartments for a few extra hours this morning. Uh, we're coming to the close of February, so quick recap of what was a very eventful month with the winter storms, some really cold temperatures, too. See all the blue shading? That's where we had high temperatures only in the 30s. We had one day in the 20s. And by the way, overall, this month was below average and we're going to finish with below average temperatures. But that's the first time that that's happened here in New York since May. Every other month in between has had above average temperatures. In our weather headlines overnight tonight, now that we're done with that first round of rain, some dense fog is going to develop, especially in areas where there's still snowpack. That tends to lend that extra moisture to get that fog going. More showers, though, arriving by about noon on Sunday. And then as we head into the month of March on Monday, it's going to come in like a lion. You've heard so it's easier for record keeping if it's consistent. And it's March, April, May are the months that are considered by record keepers, by meteorologists, to be spring months. And those three months have been getting warmer here in New York and in the surrounding area. So we've had about two more days of above average temperatures over the past 50 years here. But that is not the month. Uh, that is not the season, actually, that warms the fastest in the Northeast. That would be winter. Looking ahead through our forecast, high pressure overhead. Now that that initial band of rain has moved out, we have fog developing overnight because that high pressure helps to settle the winds down. So you'll especially because of the lingering moisture high of 48 on Monday to a low of 25 degrees. And then Tuesday is a chilly, blustery day, but a slow recovery, Kaidi, through the rest of the work week. High temperatures will return to the 50s.